Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today, we have got a new reaction to Do What You Want by A Cloudy Sky. I have seen this name thrown around a couple times. I've heard this new album coming out. I heard a quick preview of it and I was intrigued. I was interested enough. Uh, I don't know why, but I've, I've heard this name, I feel like, thrown around with Porter Robinson. I don't know if that's totally off, but I feel like they're in the same realm. I feel like I've seen it thrown around. I don't know why. But, um... We're going to hop into this. We're going to do a whole album react. This is my very first time ever listening to A Cloudy Sky that I can consciously remember. I, I may have heard them before previously. They're a fairly unknown artist, I would say, with 50k monthly listeners on Spotify. But uh, I'm I'm intrigued. Had some stuff on Bitbird, All Nighter, uh, on, oh, it was on the Zaffy, the To the Endless Series Sky. Okay, okay, okay. I remember some of that stuff, at least I probably heard, but I'm intrigued to get into this. So, without any further ado, let's hop into it. We're going to listen to the whole album on this video. Obviously, it's long. So, uh, here we go. This is the first track, Curses. I like there's nice longer songs, too. Feel the porter tones.
fascinating first track. Oh, we going again? Wow, okay. Curses, track number one. Uh, okay, so I, over the years, have talked a lot about liking longer songs, but the length of songs need to be justified. Uh, and longer songs need to have need to have a justification for its length. It can't just be longer just to be the sake for just to be longer. Um this one that teeters that line for me, honestly, a little bit. Uh, it has a long build, but the build isn't like a, it's not this big grandiose, like coming down on you, like, like just hit it hard. It's like a, it's like a, oh no, like this is, this is the next big impact moment, but it's not so intense. It doesn't, I hope that makes sense. It's not like a big, it's like a, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then just like everything just comes to like wall of sound. Like I'm talking like Porter Robinson unfold here, even though it's on a longer song. Um, but uh, I kind of appreciated that. Uh, the vocals are kind of intentionally, strategically, a little more drowned out, a little more uh, pushed back in the mix to not be as uh, noticeable, to kind of more focus on a bit of the beat and when it's going. And it was, did even the beat had a bit of that kind of drowning sound, just kind of kept going. Um, and that was the, the, the focal, the, the, the point of the, the foundation of, this, of the track. And so, yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. I, I did. I, def I definitely liked it. So we'll see what uh, what happens with the next ones. That was, um, there's two longer songs here, th uh, two medium sized songs, and then what, four shorter tracks. So we'll see how these kind of shorter tracks are in, in comparison and what the style length is going to be. So I am greatly excited for these next tracks. So here we go. This is Dive. Oh, already feels like a single.
Okay. Interesting. Dive. Um, so I, I don't know why. I was talking in my earlier comment where I had associated a cloudy sky with Porter Robinson. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if it was if Cloud Sky did something from the Secret Sky set, and that's why I remember this name, or I, I don't know why, but I, I feel the connection. I feel whether or not I just made it up in my head, um, or I heard someone say that it's like Porter. Uh, this very much does sound like a more reserved, a little bit more calmer version of Porter. Uh, that track literally sounds like it could be a, a Porter Robinson single if the vocals were just maybe pitched up a little bit higher, a little bit more focused in on on the track. And then the uh, it had like a, a real hook kind of drop. But uh, that's not what this is. And I'm not looking for this to be Porter. Hear me out. I'm not looking for this to be Porter. I'm just making a connection here. But uh, I... I I'm, I'm enjoying this. I, I definitely liked Curses more than Dive so far. Uh, this doesn't have, the tracks feel like in a good way, they don't have a ton of substance. It's more, it's a little bit more, I don't even know how to, I think reserved is just the best way to put it. So just, there's just, it's more simplistic on purpose. It's more has a simplistic nature purposefully. It's more, yeah, I, I, I think that's the best way to put it. So uh, not too blown away with Dive, uh, but we will see what we're going with the rest of these tracks. So this is one of the longer tracks. This is Safety. Uh, and for some reason, the songs with exclamation marks, the long songs, I don't know if that has a reason or purpose, but uh, here we go. This is the long 10 and a half minute Safety. We'll see if this justifies its length. I really like the like raw instrumentation.
came out of left field. Where are we going? Wow, and it's, and it's just done. My goodness.
Okay. Definitely a long song. Safety. My goodness. Um, wow, that was quite a journey. Uh, there's definitely three very definitive parts to that track. The kind of lighter intro uh, beginning into the kind of hectic, hard-hitting middle. And then back to a little bit of a culmination of the two. A kind of mix between both uh, in a bit of a finale. So... Longer song. I that did not feel too long to me for it being ten and a half minutes. It didn't feel like it was too long. Um, yeah, the the one thing I the the tracks I'm hearing so far they they sound very like I said a little bit earlier. They sound a little more. I don't want to say linear. It's like it's not right, but like for me, if I want the longer songs, I want like real real ebbs and flows real like highs and lows like get get real quiet get real somber and then get really big and uh this just isn't that and again hear me out that's, that's okay that's not what it, it doesn't need to be what i particularly prefer i just prefer that when the songs have more i don't know they just go a little little lower a little higher and this one felt uh like pretty pretty again i don't want to say stagnant but kind of stagnant but linear the whole time uh obviously I know, it'll sound crazy because it's the big, the second drop is like, or the second part is insane. And I get that. That's, it's, yeah, it's, I, I hope I make, I hope I'm making sense of that. I, ho- I hope it, it makes sense to some capacity. Uh, but, you know, that's, like, that's okay. It's still a fantastic track. It takes you on a real journey. Um, I'm not one personally to be like, oh my gosh, that took me on an emotional journey for like 10 and a half minutes. I'm like emotional, like I'm, I'm, I'm teary eyed about it. That's not personally me. And if that's you, that is totally okay. That is amazing. I uh, That is awesome. That's just not me. And that's okay. So, great track. Love the energy. I love that second half, um, the second part. Uh, it was great. But uh, let's hop into spells. The, yeah, spells. Here we go. More of a single style in this one. We'll see. I also love like the raw instrumentation of everything. It feels very genuine.
Okay, spells. Um, another solid track. Another solid track. The one thing I will say so far between these songs, they do sound a tad similar. They they do seem a little same samey. They're a little. They're a lot of the same kind of style and sound with just the kind of uh, more pushed back vocals. The kind of soft delivery, the guitar, the instrumentation, which I love, by the way, I love the raw in- instrumentation of of all of every of all the sounds on this um, on this album so far. But uh, yeah, they, they do sound a little same same for me. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's I think that's what I'll say. The the single definitely feels like a it's not a single. The these <laughs> the three minute tracks sound more like singles they they do than anything else. But yeah. That's uh, that's that. So uh, let's hop into the next track here. Okay, this is Dormant. Oh, interesting start. Wow, fascinating track. Absolutely fascinating track. I <laughs> I would love to know the story behind that. I'm sure there is some some story of why that's like that, some part of some narrative, some part of some yeah, epic that is the reason for that song to be that way, and I would love to know what that is at some point. Um <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was like a big, that was a big left turn. I just, in terms of, Port, I don't know why I keep referring to Porter Robinson, but uh, this is almost like the fellow feeling part of Porter Robinson, where it's just like, it just comes into like, like it's very different style songs, but 
Like they're just out of nowhere. Everything's so light and happy with like a little bit of sad um, lyricism. And then just like, you're dead. <laughs> so crazy song. I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. I don't know if I would listen to it by itself because oh, I don't know if I would listen to it by itself. But um, that is uh, <laughs> that was something. Uh, so here we go. This is the next track, Overthrower. Um, which appears to be the most popular so far. So maybe this is, oh yeah, it was released beforehand. So uh, here we go. This is Overthrower. Oh, it's Continuous too from Dorman.
I uh, I think that's probably my favorite song so far. I, I really I really liked it. It felt more like a an individual track and had its own big moments. And I don't know. I, I really like that one. I personally 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 would like to hear the vocals a little bit more to have them be a little cleaner for me to my personal sense but that is okay a okay um yeah it's uh th- that was great i loved um just the just the subtle instrumentation at the end parts too it, it's got a very wall of sound like style of production but still having the very intricate small little moments um of just like that little I don't even know, it's like a chime or some type of sound like that that's even a constant like side melody. So I uh, I really I really appreciated that. So uh let's uh let's move on to another big song. This is uh Thief. <laughs> We'll see if this one has distinct parts like the other one did. this so far. I love the strings. Oh, 
baby.
Wow. Okay, that was that was the best song by far. Yeah, that was the best song by far. I some longer tracks I love and that just hit all the right spots. That was great build, great movements of the track. I I don't know, it kept me engaged the whole time. I didn't feel like that was 12 and a half or 12:45 or whatever it was. It felt like it was, I don't know. That felt perfectly paced, and I I, I prefer that those vocals. I don't I don't know. Something about those vocals just I liked more so than anything else. I I don't know. That one uh, that one made that one actually kind of made me feel a little way, a little something. But um, fantastic, fantastic. I loved it. That was that's everything I look for in um in a longer track. So way to go. Let's close this out, though, with a fond farewell. Uh, this is the final track, Farewell.
Okay. Okay. We're done. Farewell. Goodbye. Um, yeah, that one uh, wasn't as, I don't know, as felt a little bit more... I don't, I don't know. The last one wasn't my favorite of the, the four kind of like single style songs of the little more, uh, the shorter songs, I should say. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the beat, but it was uh, maybe just a tad repetitive. Um, it was, it held a little bit more of a, I don't know if this is right, but it sounded a little more like, like, like an Asian style. I don't know if that's, does that make sense at all? Like a little bit more, um, like Eastern, I just, I don't know. Does that make sense at all? Is it just like it got had like I know Porter is very like inspired by like Japanese culture, and so that one felt a little bit more. I don't know, a little more inspired by a particularly Japanese culture, Japanese sound. So I don't know. I could be totally off on the mark there. I don't know <laughs> that at all. But uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. So that one, that one wasn't too bad. Um, but that is it. Uh, that is the album uh, that was. <laughs> What do you want? Uh, the 2022 track or album, eight track album from A Cloudy Sky. Uh, overall, I uh, I enjoyed it. I really did. I I'm not one for the longer or what's the word? Not one for to really feel like I'm not a deep feeler when it comes to tracks. And so when some of these songs have these kind of hidden narratives, I would say these kind of uh, yeah these these movements, these parts of songs that may, that are supposed to have you think, have a listener think about it and create their kind of own narrative or follow a, a storyline that is not clear through the um, like songs. It's not so much for me. Uh, I did enjoy it though. I, I did enjoy it. I, hear me out. I, I, I really did enjoy it. Um, I, I actually do kind of wish it had a little bit more single-ish style songs. I don't know why. And I feel horrible almost for saying that, but I feel like I wanted a little bit more, a little bit more poppy, a little bit more vocal forward tracks, um, me personally. But uh, I, I do have to go back and listen to other uh, Cloudy Sky stuff. Um, his last two albums. Also, I don't know. Is it a guy? I'm not sure. But um, their last uh, two uh, songs from 2020 or albums from 2021 and 2019. So I'll have to go back at some point and listen to that. But uh, for now, I was impressed with a Cloudy Sky. I definitely was. And so I am. Uh, this is going to be a new artist for the list. A new one I really appreciate. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this album. I'm Botan Media and I will see you guys in another video.